technique, I need to set up the arm drag, okay? The reason why, because I don't want to go like, a lot of people just go over here, you know, and grab the wrist and drag the arm, boom. It, it's fine, but uh, if you don't set the arm drag, so it's gonna be a little hard because, you know, everybody waiting for the arm drag, waiting for something like this and like that and like this. So what I like to do, I like to do like a sleek attack, you know, very sleek. So I set up the technique. I go on the wrist right here, and then I'm, I start pushing off to show my hand on the shoulder. I push him a little bit because his natural reaction to do exactly what he did. So the hand goes to the shoulder, he holds my wrist. As he holds my wrist, that's why I want to pull a little bit, I hold his wrist, and now I drag the arm. Now I got the option to go to double leg, single, I go to the back right here. So, once again, so I go right here, start, start off with a, with a simple wrist control and stop pushing my hand off your shoulder a little bit. And that's why I want to grab my wrist, and now I drag the arm down and go to the back, boom. So now we're gonna work on the underhook, okay? A lot of people love the underhook. But the main question right here, how to get there, how to get the underhook? Sometimes, most of the time, it's not so easy, okay? Because people, people are gonna go, oh, just go inside, just pull on it. Just get your arm inside, just grab the wrist and, and get your arm in, pummeling. You know, it's not so easy like that, not so simple, okay? So you need to have a good setup, a good trick to get to the underhook. What I like to do myself, I like to always attack one side of the body with the wrist control. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock my elbows in on my ribs, get my arm like 90 degrees, and then I start going to wrist control. Two hands gonna, gonna control his wrist at the same time. So right now, don't open your elbow because you're trying to pummel. So as I do that, I'm gonna start getting close to him, and then I got a two-on-one technique right here. I pull his arm to me, and I start turning, slightly, slightly turning my back. So when I turn my back like that, what's gonna happen? You're gonna reach out on my back. As you reach out, boom, I got the other hook right here. That's what I'm gonna do. So now once I have the other hook, I'm gonna adjust the other hook right here, control the shoulder, lift my elbow, and then control his wrist. Here, just like so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lock my hands together. Boom! Got my elbow very close right here, and then I got two options. First one, I can pull his head to my chest. Second one, I can get my head right here on his head. And then I place my leg in the middle of his leg, get my center of gravity close to center of gravity. What happens, like biomechanic wise, right here, when two bodies, when two center of gravities get together, two bodies are gonna become one. And then what I need to do, I need to roll, do rotation. Like I said, two bodies become one. When I roll, you roll with me. Look. This time you're gonna shoot on a single leg, and I'll show you a very easy way to um, to defend the single leg. Okay, so I learned this move back in the years in Bulgaria. Uh, the Bulgarian wrestling team uh, used to do a lot of this on uh, this counter attack. So it's pretty simple. So I just got I just need to keep my my stance a little lower. Okay, lower my, my center of gravity. Don't stay way too high because the the, the higher I, the the higher I am, you know, the lighter I'm gonna be. You know. And uh, the lower I put my center of gravity, you know, the heavier, heavier are gonna be, okay? So as soon as you shoot on the leg, boom, single. So I gotta start dropping the center of gravity a little bit. So now I get the wizard right here from the outside and then start connect my hands together, okay, using this grip right here. So now it's all about to do a lot of pressure on this elbow and put my foot on, my foot on the ground. Boom, see you. See the extension I make on his arm, see it? Boom, like that. So pretty much his arm goes like this, okay? So why do we need the wizard in the beginning? Okay, lighten out the angle. So we're gonna shoot on the leg right here. So as soon as you shoot, right, right away I got the, 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 the wizard. Once I got the wizard, I'm gonna connect my hands around this elbow right here, and then my foot goes to the ground and extend his arm. Boom, just like so. Okay, see the pressure? You feel all the pressure in the elbow, right? Yeah. Boom, like that. That's all you need. Okay? Again, shoot. Boom, and then go right here. Okay? So now my right foot wants to go to the floor, and then middle wide, middle wide, I want to boom, put pressure on this elbow. See what's going to happen. Boom! And then I can kick my leg back as well. Strong my leg. Okay? Now what's going to happen now, you're going to shoot in a single leg. 
Okay, and then I have another, another counter attack. Okay, so as soon as you shoot on my leg, boom, I got the wizard. And I start dropping the center of gravity again. Once I get this wizard, I always force his shoulder down. And now I go for the wrist control. I lock his wrist right here, okay, his left wrist. The reason why, because now his arm is stuck on my leg. Try to pull your arm out, you cannot, okay? That's the, 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 the main thing of the technique right here. So now I start placing my right foot behind his knee, and then I get my hand, my right hand on his armpit to guide him when I do the throw. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna throw him over my right shoulder, look. Boom, just like so. So now, can you notice I still, I still have my leg, right? And my leg is still in the middle of the leg. In the middle of his legs right here, in between his legs. But what I can do right here, I can screw myself forward, lock my feet together, turn to the side, and get a knee bar right here. Okay? Even though you still have the grip right here, <clears throat> I can tap him out on the knee bar. Okay? 